member for Vancouver Fairview. Later this afternoon, her many friends will celebrate the rich life of Joy Coghill. On January 20th, BC and Canada lost a legendary actor, director, teacher, and mentor. Joy was a trailblazer for actors and for women in the arts. In 1953, Joy founded Canada's first professional children's theatre company, Holiday Theatre. Joy took pride that over half their productions were original, and the company was one of the first to commission new Canadian plays. Generations of young people took lessons and the opportunity to express themselves on stage and backstage. I was one of many who found a creative channel for youthful energy. Joy was the first woman artistic director of Vancouver's Playhouse Theatre, where she commissioned George Riga's The Ecstasy of Rita Joe and initiated Stage 2 to showcase new Canadian playwrights. She was the first woman to head the National Theatre School's English section. To watch Joy work was to see an inquisitive, experimental, energetic approach to theme. She brought new perspective to many roles, including the title character in Shakespeare's King Lear. She played Emily Carr in Song of This Place, which she also wrote. In later years, she founded a company for older actors, Western Gold, and developed the Alzheimer Project. Concerned that performing arts workers were often destitute in their senior years, Joy co-founded the Performing Arts Lodge as a residence that includes performance space. Joy was honoured with the Order of Canada and a Governor General's Award in Performing Arts. This legislature appointed Joy to the inaugural BC Arts Council. Last November, Joy accepted the Union of BC Performers ACTRA Woman of Distinction Award. Younger actors applauded Joy's undiminished passion for theatre and film and her recognition that unions make performers' lives better. Joy was passionate about both politics and community. In her own words, I really spent my whole life believing that the health of our nation depends on the health of the arts. Thank you, Member.